Hi, this is Pim from Smart Diabetics Academy. Can removing fat in the pancreas reverse diabetes? That's what we are going to discuss today. In this video, we will have a look at the difference between obese people with excess fat levels in their pancreases versus obese people with normal fat levels in their pancreases. And in a minute, I'm also going to share with you the exact amount of fat that you need to lose from your pancreas in order to reverse diabetes. I bet you will be shocked because I was. So diabetes is usually seen as something that you develop because you are overweight. And to some extent, this is true. But what is more important is than just the weight is exactly where you are storing that fat. So when you take a closer look at obese people with and without diabetes, there is a clear difference between the groups. And the difference is in where they store the fat. Obese type 2 diabetics have abnormally high levels of fat stored in their pancreases. Whereas non-obese, sorry, non-diabetic obese patients or people have normal levels of fat stored in their pancreas. When obese patients with both, both diabetic and non-diabetic, when they undergo bariatric surgery, for example, there's no difference in weight loss between the groups. They lose equally much weight, but the pancreatic fat in type 2 diabetics disappear to normal to be normal levels in the pancreas and when that does they also reverse the diabetes isn't that interesting so now you might want to know how much fat you need to lose in your pancreas to make this happen and i'm going to tell you it is a fifth of a teaspoon of fat a fifth so that's one gram of fat from your pancreas specifically is all you need to lose to reverse your diabetes. But that one gram needs to come from your pancreas. It cannot come from your belly or your love handles or anywhere else. It needs to come from the pancreas and what determines where it's coming from is very much genetics, unfortunately. So what that means is that some people don't have to lose a lot of weight in order to start reversing the diabetes, whereas some other people might have to lose a lot of weight before that happens. And you won't really know unless you've done it before, then chances are that it will be similar this time. So each and every one of us are said to have a personal fat threshold. And as long as you stay below it, you won't develop type two diabetes. Unfortunately, you don't know where that threshold is. But if you have a lot of skinny relatives with type 2 diabetes, your risk of developing diabetes without gaining a lot of fat or weight obviously increases. For me personally, there is diabetes on both my mom's and my dad's side. And unfortunately for me, it seems that most of my relatives with diabetes are overweight but not obese. So in my case, my personal fat threshold is probably fairly low. I'm a little bit curious now about whether you have diabetes in your family and what you think your family threshold is and why. And if you can see a pattern there, because that's fascinating to me. So I hope you like this video. And if you do, please, please, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon as well, because then you will get a notification whenever I release a new video, because you don't want to miss any of them because I'm going to release even more videos on how you can reverse your diabetes. And tomorrow we're going to talk about foods to reverse diabetes in 30 days. So don't miss that one.